All right, so if you want to measure a roof, um, get the square footage. I'll show you how it's done, and I'll show you how I do it. So you go to um, Google Earth right here. That's the one you want to click. All right, now let me back out of this. Um, let me just think of an address here. All right, so there's the building, right? You can pull it down so you can see it's three stories. You can get a nice idea of what the building looks like. I also go on, uh, I also just Google the address sometimes and it'll pull up street views and sometimes if the if the house is on the market, it'll take pictures of the, you know, close-ups of the sides and the back. And you can really get an idea of what you're dealing with, you know, as far as even plants around, stuff like that. Just, you know, basically looking up all your variables, you know, things to charge more or what to be careful for. If you're going to have to cover plants. All kinds of things, you know, you can see what type of color paint, uh, the driveway, the, I don't know, basically anything you would do if you drove through a house and this kind of helps eliminate having to do that all the time. You know, obviously there's going to be times where you want to do it. So anyway, your best bet's to pull up the sky view. All right. So right in this corner, the bottom left, I'm going to press down on it and a pin shows up. You hit X if you want to get rid of it. Try to get it as close as you can. All right. Then you can click measure. All right. Now you see this little cursor. You're going to bring it to the next corner. All right. Hit. Uh, add point. Now I'm a little off. You can, you can, um, you know, hit X at any point to restart. You got to be very, uh, you know, take your time to get it exact. And like I said, we're looking for a bar, ballpark number when I do this by square footage anyway. You just go ahead and hit every point of the roof. Just like that. And you're just going to add a point every point of the roof. Add point. Add point, add point. All right, and then when you get to the one where you start it, you just put it over that and you close shape, it says now. Close shape, boom. 14,630 square foot. That's how it's done. And what I usually do is I'll take a screenshot and then that's it. I mean... Like I said, you you want to get the measurement, so then you can take that square footage number, multiply it whatever, by how many cents, you know, whether it's 20, 15, 30, 50 cents. You multiply the 14, 630 by that, get a ballpark number, take a look around the building. Do you have plants? Do you have uh, walkways, bushes? I don't know, little... Um, uh, covers like in the front here you got to overhang you know you get to see things like that and like I said another tip is to go on Google and put the address in sometimes you can see the build the street view you can see other pictures around the building I don't know see if it has gutters things like that so that's what I do I hope that helps it's called Google Earth it's free there's other apps out there but this is the one I use all right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you, and uh, all right, guys, take care.